So guys welcome back now in the previous video we looked at how to make the cell work now i as you can notice here i deleted that i removed it because i wanted to show you something real quick this part adding a navigation bar and uh, that looks pretty good so that looks settled mm -hmm. and then now the table view itself so I'm going to add a table view here. I'm going to expand it. What is going on? You can reach the corners with that navigation bar. Okay, and then we're going to have a table view cell now. Boom. And I'm going to put it to 250 again. Or was it 270 yet? Okay, I'll drag in an image view. So this is pretty much repetition, guys. Uh, all right, so I'll drag this to about that height. Good. And I'll drag in a label. Okay. And so since we deleted the uh, previous view this this cell is new so we're just gonna have to reconnect it by clicking the whole cell so it's tricky to click the cell so you might click try clicking and it's just clicking different stuff so just give it a try here yep there you go and then now single row cell we connect it back to the cell that we created and then let's open that and then we have some data here so we would reconnect this by just dragging it there and then as you can see just let it go and you can reconnect the label so this is good in case you did a mistake just to you know no all right so we have the title here and i'm going to say uh swift tigram that's probably the title and then here i'm going to add a bar button item so in this video we were talking we're going to look at how to add objects to parse an image and a label so we're gonna have a bar button item right here and i will drag it in there and if i click on the attribute inspector i can uh, um, select the identifier to something like add that gives me a player so there's this custom already made for you uh, uh i mean not custom but pre pre-made or pre-existing object so Maybe, yeah, that's fine. Perfect. Now, what do we want to say? We want to say when you cl click the bar button item, you're taken to a page where you can upload, take a, uh, take a photo or upload a photo and add a label and then upload the data to parse. And then the p object or the data is available for users to see on the home page. Excuse me. So let's go ahead and just uh, expand this a little bit out here like that. And let's create another view controller that will be responsible for uploading objects to parse or data. Now, we're going to now say view controller, another view controller here, and I will make it four inches as well. And then now I want to click that plus and then click on control and hold and then drag it to the this new view controller and then now when i click that plus i should be taken here uh, it's always good to test early but uh, for the sake of time i'm not going to do that let's just jump straight to creating the this view right here uh, the first thing we're going to need here okay let's first create a file to connect it you know i always like that and then i will call this upload to uh, views view controller and then this is a UI table view UI view controller next create so with that in mind I am going to connect this to upload where are you at the bottom okay 
Now, um, let's start by dragging in a preview image. You know, when you take a photo, you want to check the image if it's good. If not, you can, you know, and you can change if it's not good. So image view. We're going to drag in an image view in here. And then that size looks pretty fine. And then, yeah, that's fine for now. And then what else? Uh, text field. Uh, text field is responsible for adding our image data or the text or the you know message along with the image. No, maybe right here. I'll give it a placeholder of uh, um, say something about the image. And then we're gonna have a button to upload the data. Good, and we're gonna say upload. Good. Now we've reconnected, uh, we haven't connected this yet. These are different from the cell one, so let's do that right here in the upload view controller. So I'll drag this in. Matter of fact, I just want to move it up a little bit. Click that, control, hold, and then drag and then drop. And this is going to be upload preview image view image or something. Image view image. Okay. Say something about that. We'll say uh, upload mess uh, message something. And then this is uh, a button is going to be an action. So when I click that, I want to check if the image is not empty. So action, and I'm going to call this upload button. Okay, so now let's go ahead and uh, listen to upload click. So the first thing that we want to do is uh, I'm going to introduce you to the, the camera a controller and everything in this section and we're going to look at how to upload uh, images at, uh, using uh, UI view controller and the media controller, hold on. Okay, sorry, I got mixed up with words there. Uh, just went and checked my previous code and I'll just remove that for a second. So I'm going to copy. Uh, what I want to do first of all, let me show you something real quick. Uh, this, I want to, when I click this image, um, the, I can upload the image. So. I want to grab a button because the image view doesn't have an action. So I will just grab a button, drop it in there, and then I'll try to expand this button to fit the size. So it's an, like an overlay over the image. It's going to look cool. You're going to see. So let me just take you slow here. Excuse me. And this one is going to be uh, add. Okay add image so add all right now what i'm going to do is click the control that and then just drag it in here and this button i am going to put it right here and this is going to be add image from you know a source maybe a camera or the library so let's i oh no this is not uh well, I could just have, anyway, first of all, let me just have an action, not a outlet. So get rid of that by clicking there and closing it and then trying again. And then this one, I want to be an action. And I will say, upload image from source or something. 
Now this uh, take or upload image. So there's a piece of code that I'm going to grab real quick and I'll be back in a second for the camera. Okay, I just copied this little piece of code. It's about five lines of code. Very, very simple to use a camera in uh, in iOS. Very, 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 very easy. So as you can see here, I'm using uh, the photo library. I'm going to be, this when I say photo library, I can change this to camera. So that means you can now, when I this is upload is clicked, it will now initialize the camera. If I choose a uh, photo library rather, this will now be able to select the images that are already taken. And as you can see here, we have an error. And if I click that error, we have, uh, there's a few stuff that we are missing, like some delegates for necessary for the image to, uh, for the camera to work. That is the UI navigation controller delegate and the UI image picker controller delegate. So let's go ahead and add that. And that's what I was trying to add in the first time, but it didn't work. So I'm going to say UI image controller delegate you might actually pick a controller delegate and the ui navigation delegate which go here ui navigation delegate and if i do that you see the error disappear boom so that is good uh if i run this you will see that let me actually run it for you guys so that's all i need to use a camera in android in uh in swift in ios Oh, we're taken to the login screen again. Let's just log in. Okay, we have that. And then we click plus. We're taken here. And then when I click add. We are taken here. Swiftgram would like to access your photos. Do not allow, allow. Okay, we want to allow. And then now we could pick images and nothing happens now if we pick an image so to display the image in this preview there's a function in uh, the courtesy i think of this delegate you may pick a controller delegate that has uh, did finish with uh, let me just type it up for you then it's image controller yep did finish picking image so it has finished picking an image you want to do something. We want this upload view, upload view dot image equals to this image right here that is returned to us. So let's check that out. Okay, I'm gonna say, uh, I need to fix this logging here all the time. I need to make that home page as the uh, default controller. So I'll just pick another image real quick. And I'll pick that. Oops, nothing happens. I'm missing something. And that's why I go to the reference. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, so what I needed basically was to dismiss the controller. I just copy that self that dismiss view controller animated yeah i cannot know everything definitely so good to reference and don't be afraid to reference all right so let's run this this time and see oh yeah i didn't fix that right <laughs> 2020 login add add Select an image that, and as you can see, we have the image now because we had to include the dismiss the view controller, the, the image one right there. So that is looking awesome right now. Uh, though it's aligned to the left and all of this, like I said, we're going to fix this layout uh, problem. And I'm going to talk to you guys about auto layout, which uh, is a broad subject, but I'll try to minimize it into like the basic that you need really to make and make apps going, you know, all right. Uh, so now here on the upload button well you know we could also say something like uh, change this text the add button as you can see here if I just click add again it's like uh, telling the user to add another which doesn't make, make any sense so well we could just change that text so I can just now this is where I create oh, sorry 
click something else. This is where I create um, uh, the previous time we created an action. So as well, you can create an outlet for an image. Okay. So uh, upload image text or something. Okay. And then after this has been done, we could just say that dot title label. This is how you change the text in a, in a button. It's sometimes, uh, you know, you try to type Im upload image dot text. It doesn't work. That works for labels. So it's good to know this. So that text equals to change. So let me make this as the initial view controller to be launched every time. Right here. Okay, now add an image and chain doesn't show up because we kind of need to. Oh no, why? Why? Is it because this is small? You know, I could say add new, add image, maybe. And then add image. And then now it's changed. So that's something weird. <laughs> All right, so change it works so good now uh, I'm going to stop here and in the next video we're going to continue from where we are we're going to now look at getting this data and uploading finally uploading the parse so uh, see you in the next video